We now return we're with Sonic 3D Sonic Blast. 3 Blast. The Sega Saturn. The, the big. It's time for Volcano Valley. Now I love this music. That like, you cannot uh, tell me that ooh. the Genesis tracks are better than this. If you are, you're deaf. You don't have a brain. You're not allowed to live. This is epicry at its finest. Perhaps not very good for a game that's this kind of mediocre and whatnot. But God fucking damn it, I love this music. Yeah, it obviously it oddly sounds kind of like you know, we're about to engage in some kind of epic adventure. But what's really happened is you're wandering around. Yeah, uh, I, I would actually say that's kind of what I... The, the things I have to say for this game's music is that I love the game's music, but I just don't... I feel like it's too good for the game in question. <laughs> it's why I'll play... I've said it before. It's why I like playing this game on the Saturn, because I really love this music. This is like something I But just... it's also one of those cases... God fucking damn it. Oh, shit. Where I feel like the music is better than the game. You know, this is the kind of music I would think, like, um, Skies of Arcadia is where it was what would come to mind. Like the Lava Dungeon? Yeah, something. something. Speaking of Skies of Arcadia, I need to get caught back up on that again. You know, it's it's epic orchestra After the marathon, shit. mind you, but... Ugh. God damn it, what's... All this molten cheese. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't look like lava magma. No. It looks. It, it looks, looks like, like molten cheese. <laughs> How am lava I supposed to recover magma. these goddamn flickies when they're floating over the lava magma cheese? Yeah. Uh, and, and they keep shooting out cheesy poofs. Particularly that. The. the it does sound like it would be from Skies of Arcadia. I mean, it's not actually from Skies of Arcadia, but it sounds like something that would be in it. It's got that same sort of audio the, the, quality. The, the, same the, the same instruments and style. style. And it, I would say, you know, I, the music is all great, but this this one in particular just seems to oddly stand out from all of them as not quite fitting the rest. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it, it just does seem... It's the only one I would say is outright out of... Seems kind of out of place, especially where it is. It's, it's like you're about to... It's like you're about to set sail on an epic voyage! And it's just, you know... For... F it's like I say, if you try to move around to any kind of speed in this game... <laughs> Especially with the molten cheese what and the, the f uh, Cheeto puffs flying out all over the place. You know the 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 brown stuff kind of looks like burnt cheese on the side of uh, the casserole dish when I make macaroni and cheese and corn out of not cheese. <clears throat> Velveeta. Velveeta. Yes. And the the molten magma lava stuff actually looks like. Like what? Molten cheddar? It kind of looks like that. St it kind of looks like that stuff. Uh, the uh, what the fuck is that? It kind of looks like the even faker cheese that comes in uh, those that comes in the squeeze packets. Oh god! Oh god! That they do put in like some uh, the I, the quick make quick homemade macaroni. Yeah, that stuff. Uh. I, I'll be honest, I do not have the most refined taste buds in the world. Like, I, it, it, to me, if it tastes good, I'll eat it. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not going to harp on artificial versus natural flavors. But there it does come a point where you have to realize that this fake cheese tastes fake. Yeah. I, I mean, generally speaking, when I cook with Velveeta, I always, like, grab, you know, frickin' handfuls of shredded actual cheddar and just throw that in there to try and give it some taste. Yeah, it's just like Velveeta has this flavor to it, but it's just not nearly as sharp as cheddar is, even 
like basic cheddar as opposed to the real sharp cheddar. And if you really I like sharp cheddar it, too. If you really know your taste, it, it does taste like you know. It's been a while since I've had Swiss cheese. Velveeta is made out of oils. <laughs> but yeah, you know. yeah, it, Velveeta. It's Velveeta cheap. barely qualifies as cheese, given the way that it's made. I mean, you know, it's technically kind of a cheese, but it's not made quite the same. I can't remember what the exact shit is, but it isn't aged. It doesn't have to be aged. Or something. It barely qualifies. I don't cheese. think it's cheese. <clears throat> it barely qualifies. <laughs> but yeah, it's cheap. I can't just go down to the store. If Every time I want macaroni and cheese, I can't just go down to the store and buy a real lump of ch cheddar big enough to make a casserole of real macaroni and cheese, all right? I can't just do that. A bag of shredded cheddar. There are trees here, I well, just noticed. There are actual fucking trees in this place, and they're on fire. It, it also takes, well, yeah, it takes much longer to get, cook proper macaroni and cheese. There should not be trees here at all. They should be ash. I mean, I cooked proper macaroni and cheese, so don't go accusing me of not being having any culinary. It's just Velveeta is easy. And, and I, it's cheap. Yeah. It's It comes in brick form as opposed to wheel. Why do we make things round? Square fits better. Do you uh, put that... Uh, you're growing watermelons? Put them in boxes as they grow. That way we can stack them. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we just do that? Because it's unnatural and stupid. I mean, the Japan. I can understand why the Japanese do it, because they're fucking weird over there, and they, they probably really think with how can we reserve as much space as possible. Because it's a tiny country. Spread across like what five or six islands, and there's places that are freaking unlivable because of radiation. Well, what other type of energy that can they get over there inside? Wind. Wind. Which they have to. It seems like uh, sometimes when I see windmills, they're. I think I've seen some that were like built into buildings. I don't know. It's a small place, and everybody's clump together and you can go down to the mango store it's, it's a walk there it's easy no it isn't it's a mobius strip <laughs> ah more of this music sonic stages are just what japan looks like man oh. well they are very so closely clumped together that in order to get from point A to point B, you have to go through a small maze. Apparently, Japan does have countryside still, so... Yeah, but no one wants to live in the countryside. No, that is another thing about Japan. It doesn't seem like anyone actually wants to... Everybody wants to live in a cramped up city! Uh, either that, or there's, like, they don't allow you to live in the country? I don't know, unless you're a farmer. I don't know I'm a, very much about Japan. I should I should go. I should For play, all the uh, things we know about Japan, we don't know anything about Japan because it is that fucking insane. Oh right, you have a fire shield on, but you can't tell, so it just looks like yeah, lava doesn't affect me now. It's just molten cheese. I mean, it's hot, but it's not gonna burn through my shoes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know anything about Japan. I should play uh, uh, Go Go Nippon, my first trip to Japan, that'll teach me a lot. Duh. It also has a... Titties. <laughs> but not... I'm actually thinking there was some sort of uh, actual uh, Rockman... Or, no, it was... I can't remember if it was actually called Rockman or Mega Man, because it was another one of those cases where... It was another way of just teaching, teaching people how 
Japan works in our culture, and I think he actually was called Mega Man for that particular reason. Um, but the Wish Upon a Star oh, OVA. Really? Yeah. And, and, and it was supposed to tell to teach stuff about Japan, but they never even translated it. No, they did. They did. There is an official translation of it out there somewhere. Uh, published by the same people who published the uh, Sonic movie. Really? Yeah. ADD Films. It, does it have any voices like Sonic and Tails? Tails? They got Scott McNeil to play Dr. Wily. <sighs> oh, I, actually, I remember that. That was... That was... Was fucking great. Not really. He actually doesn't play it up nearly as much as he did in this series. No. I mean, he still. You can still tell it's him. This is just a minor setback. But he, he doesn't. He doesn't go all out with it. Mega Man. Mega Man. Oh. That's who Joel that was, reminds me of. That, that was what, uh... Yeah. <laughs> oh. That, that was what made that series any good, was uh, Scott McNeil just voicing Dr. Wily. And Proto Man. And Proto Man. <laughs> and Proto Man! Well, Scott's got one of his scenes coming up. They're just going go out and get some coffee. <laughs> He's always talking to himself all the time. Usually having arguments with himself between Dinobot and Rat Trap. Oh. And occasionally Rat Trap and Silver Bolt. Yeah. What was that? Like in uh, Transformers uh, Cybertron, right? Where he was. Where he had to play the character Snarl. Yeah, and they were and like... Snarl... They was, gave him no direction. They gave him no direction, so he just had a Dinobot voice, but then he he would later on learn that Snarl had one of the, a wolf head, and he's just like, man, if I had actually known about that, I would have given him my Silverbolt voice. Yeah. He, he didn't even have much, like, a Dinobot personality, so... They were just he's, like, he's his just name just is Snarl, snarl. so, uh... Sound like... Sound very Snarl. <laughs> I believe his Japanese name was Wolfang or something like that. Duh. Ah, you Americans and your stupid changing the names. What is a... What is an Optimus Prime? Oh, no, wait. Fang Wolf. Fang Wolf. Oh. <laughs> That's even better. Fang Wolf, your first. Fang Wolf! Fang Wolf, your Transform! Really, yeah, that does. It, that, that does sound like a, a shitty OC name. <laughs> but, you know, it's Japan! <laughs> they use American words, and it sounds cool to them! Uh. Galaxy Kumbui! It, it, it sounded cool. Well, the thing is, the name Convoy came from the fact that the original Optimus Prime was a semi-truck. Yeah. But they just sort of held on to that for the longest time, so even when he wasn't a semi-truck, they still called him Convoy. Convoy! 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 Volcano Valley boss. Uh, oh. Incidentally, I, I don't know what it is, but for the longest time, every time I played this game, this would be the boss that I dreaded the most. I honestly have no idea why. Look at this. Hmm. How does I pump the fire? It just takes him so long to do anything. I mean, admittedly, it's kind of difficult to align hitting him without getting it's himself Only in this process, one platform he, really... Is. Only this one part there. Why would I dread this? This isn't that difficult. Yeah. Maybe... You suppose it, maybe, what if it was different than the PC version? Or the Sega Genesis version? The other versions that we played? 
I think just because I was a pansy who didn't know when it was safe to hit him or not. Ah. Uh, when we were the children's.